How to Initialize an ADS Rain Alert 3 Rainfall Monitor The steps for initializing a new Rain Alert 3 Rainfall Monitor include Gathering the following equipment A computer A Rain Alert 3 Rainfall Monitor A Rain Alert 3 USB Direct Connect Cable and a SIM card for wireless communications as needed. Connecting the USB cable to the computer and downloading the driver, if necessary. Opening the Rain Alert 3 and inserting the SIM card in the SIM card holder. Plugging the USB cable into the appropriate connector in the Rain Alert 3. And configuring and activating the Rain Alert 3 in QStart. To initialize a Rain Alert 3 rainfall monitor for installation in the field, ensure you have the following a Rain Alert 3 monitor a Rain Alert 3 USB Direct Connect cable, and a SIM card if wireless communications are going to be used. You will also need a computer with QStart 1.5 or higher installed. The Rain Alert 3 is a compact unit housed in a NEMA 4X IP67 enclosure, approximately 7 inches wide by 11 inches long and 4.5 inches high. To open the unit, unhook the two clasps on the right hand side of the housing. The Rain Alert 3 contains a 9 volt alkaline battery pack, a processor board with a built in 3G modem, a connector for the USB Direct Connect cable, a SIM card holder, an internal antenna, and an external cable with exposed green and white wires to connect to a tipping bucket. A new Rain Alert 3 must be activated serially before it will communicate wirelessly. But before you activate serially, go ahead and note the IP address of the SIM card provided by ADS or other SIM card provider and insert the card into the SIM card holder. Installing the SIM card before monitor activation will ensure the monitor connects to the wireless network shortly after it is activated. The Rain Alert 3 uses an ADS USB Direct Connect cable using the same driver as a USB cable for the Triton Plus monitor. Ensure the appropriate driver is downloaded to the computer before plugging in the USB cable. Instructions for downloading the driver can be found on the inside cover of the Rain Alert 3 enclosure. Once the driver is downloaded, plug the USB cable into the computer and into the open connector on the upper left-hand side of the processor board. Once the USB cable is connected, Open the ADS QStart software. Go to the settings page and verify QStart version is 1.5 or higher. Also verify that the serial port is set to the correct port where the USB cable is installed. If you have any questions about the port, verify the port number in Computer Management under Device Manager and Ports. After the settings have been verified, set up the Rain Alert 3 location in QStart. Select New. QStart's default location information will display. Next, enter the name of the Rain Alert 3 installation. Then, select Wireless for the Connect Type and enter the IP address. Select Rain Alert 3 for the Series Type and select the desired sample rate for the Rain Gauge. There are two default devices configured for the Rain Alert 3, Rain and Time Zone. Select Rain and View to open the Rain device screen. Verify or modify as necessary. Unless the Rain Alert 3 is going to be configured to send out notifications when its rain intensity exceeds a certain threshold, there is no need to enable the Alarm section of the screen. Next, select Time Zone and View to open the Time Zone device screen. Select the appropriate Time Zone for the Rain Alert 3 installation and indicate whether Daylight Savings Time is used. The Rain Alert 3 configuration is now complete. Select Save to save the completed Rain Alert 3 configuration. Then change Connect from Wireless to Serial in preparation for monitor activation. Select Activate. QStart will connect serially to the Rain Alert 3 and activate the monitor. The red Connect button will change to a green Hang Up when the monitor responds to the communication request. An Activate Successful will display in the lower left hand corner of the screen when it is complete. Two LEDs on the processor board will light during the activation process, indicating communication and monitor activity. Once the activation is complete, select Hang Up. When the activation is complete and the serial communication has ended, the monitor will attempt to connect to the wireless network. 
While it is attempting to connect, the upper LED light will turn solid green. Once it has connected, the LED will begin to flash green. Once the upper LED is flashing green, change the connect type back to wireless and select status. QStart will then connect to the Rain Alert 3 and display a current monitor status. After the status screen displays, close the status screen and select Hang Up. The Rain Alert 3 is now ready for field installation. For more information on how to initialize and install a Rain Alert 3 rainfall monitor, refer to the ADS Rain Alert 3 Operations and Maintenance Manual or contact ADS Client Services.